Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Shiraz versus Williams is on video. As Hamza Shiraz, the undefeated middleweight contender on the rise, is going to battle the fellow middleweight contender on the rise, Austin Williams, in a big time middleweight showdown right here. As, as it's part of the five versus five uh, series, um, five versus five series between Queensbury and Matchroom that takes place on June 1st on the Bival Better Be of Undisputed Title Fight Undercard on pay-per-view from Saudi Arabia. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So this fight right here, um, is bringing a lot of significance to the table. Now, first off, for the five versus five uh, thing between Queensbury and Matchroom, you got Austin Williams representing Matchroom. Hamza Shiraz is representing Queensbury and Frank Warren. And actually, Shiraz, at 24 years old, Frank Warren has made him his team captain. So basically, how the five versus five works is... Um, each fight is worth a certain amount of points if the if the the, the winning fighter wins the fight. You know, if, uh, depending on how he wins. If he wins by a decision, it's worth one point. A knockout's worth two points, and then um, uh, they also have a uh, the captain of each team, which Shiraz is the captain of uh, Queensbury. Uh, the captain, his win is worth double the points. So if Shiraz wins this fight by knockout over Williams, he'll get four points instead of two. Um, and you know, he's coming in the favorite, but these are two young middleweight, middleweight contenders that wanna make a name for themselves or else they wouldn't have signed up for this. Shiraz, 19 and 0, 15 knockouts, coming off of his biggest victory of his career earlier this year, when he destroyed Liam Williams, the former world title challenger, in one round. And we know Liam Williams has always been a tough uh, cookie. And Shiraz, just once he hit him, just it, it, it's almost like Williams just crumbled. And it was just a fucking bru you know, brutal showing. He knocked him down like three or four times. And um, he just, you know, he just has that kind of power. He's 6'3". And... Um, He's hungry. But Austin Williams is, uh, doesn't seem to be a pushover, though. This guy believes in himself a lot, or else he wouldn't take this fight. He's coming in as the underdog. He's 16-0 with 11 knockouts. Um, his biggest win was a one-sided one decision win over Steve Rolls last year. Um, and Rolls went on to get destroyed against uh, Stephen Butler uh, earlier this year. But... Um, you know, Williams it wants to make a name for himself. They, his nickname is Ammo. So we're going to see what kind of ammo he brings to the table against Shiraz. But he's not a small guy either. He's six feet tall. He's only three inches shorter. Um, and he's, you know, a, a, a boxer puncher. Um, and it's this fight's going to be interesting. There's a lot at stake here because there's three young middleweights that are waiting to make their 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 splash in the wide open middleweight division. And, um, you know, that are floating around the 24, 25, 26 age. Um, Elijah Garcia is even younger at 20 years old. Um, and he's one of them. But these are the other two undefeated younger middleweights. Williams being 27 and um, Shiraz being 24. And really, a victory here for either guy shoots this fight, shoots the winner likely into the top five. That's how wide open this division is. And, and it's good to see fighters like this taking a chance and going for it so they can move themselves into title contention. And the winner of this fight, his next fight should be a title fight without question. So um, Shiraz is already the WBO's man, uh, number one ranked contender. And I think the winner of this fight is likely in line to fight Janabek uh, Alamanhalai Kazakh style for the um, for the unified uh, championship uh, middleweight championship. So we're gonna see. But again, I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to this um, this showdown right here. 
and it's on a great card. I mean, this whole card is is good. The first fight, Craig Richards and Willie Hutchinson, okay, whatever. That's part of the five versus five, but every other fight besides that is really good. Ray Ford and Nick Ball for the WBA featherweight title. You got Shiraz and um, and Williams, and a battle of undefeated middleweights. Then the heavyweights get it on. Uh, Hergovich and Dubois, which is likely going to be for the IBF heavyweight championship of the world. A Wilder and Zhang, which is likely going to end by knockout. And then the better be of and Bival, undisputed title till. I mean, God, it, it, it's going to be good. So you really want to check out Shiraz and um, and uh, Williams for multiple reasons. But um, that's it. That's what I got. This is the Shiraz. So J Saturday, June 1st, on pay-per-view, Shiraz versus Williams is on on the Better Be of Bival undisputed title fight card from Saudi Arabia. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.